One of the reasons why Moms Mental Health Initiative wanted to pair up with the Periscope Project is because we firmly believe that the quicker a mom receives treatment, the quicker she can feel better. You can make a difference by having these conversations with your moms, each and every mom, um, because you don't know what that mom is struggling with outside of your office setting. I visited my OB for some physical issues and I told him how much I was struggling and I remember I was sobbing in his office and he looked at me and he said that he didn't think I had postpartum depression and anxiety and that I should really just give it more time. And it, it kind of made everything worse. A mom is walking into your office with so many fears and so much anxiety about how to let her doctor know what's going on. I'm just uh, going to take a look here at your information. Okay. I'm just running a little late. I've got like three patients I'm behind on. So. They're terrified about what they're experiencing, but they also don't want to be a burden. All right, so it's been about uh, six weeks. Yes. All right, very good. So um, just to ask you a few questions. Um, how are you doing? How's everything going? Nonverbal communication plays a huge role. Um, okay, I guess. Okay, all right. Any pain? No. Mm -mm. No? Physically, I'm, I'm doing fine. Okay, physically you're doing good. All right, good. Any other problems or issues? Um, well... I, actually, I'm a little concerned that mm -hmm. I might not be adjusting to motherhood very oh, well. Really? How? I'm, I'm just having a really hard time sleeping. Hard? Oh, well, that's that's that happens all the time. That's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Just give it a little time. It'll get better. It always does. They don't want to be that mom that's always complaining. They don't want to be that mom who is looked at like she's crazy. Any other issues or problems? No. Mm -hmm. Your mood's pretty good. No, but I guess that's normal, right? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, you're not getting sleep, so if you get a little more sleep, your mood will definitely improve. Okay. Okay. All right. A mom going through this just feels completely alone and that nobody gets it. And honestly, many women think my family, my child would be better off without me. So anything else? No. Okay. I think you're doing great. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you later, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. At my lowest point, I had hit this point of complete hopelessness. I thought that I wasn't, I wasn't going to get better. There was no helping me. I felt worthless as a mother. I felt worthless as a wife. It got to the point where I actually thought that the only way I could be a good mom was by killing myself because I, I thought that my baby would be so much better off if I wasn't in the picture. Providers can show concern by creating an open dialogue through each visit with their mom. Everyone should be screened and everyone should be having these conversations. The issue is then what do you do when you have a positive screen? And the Periscope Project really tried to fill that niche by being able to provide support to our frontline providers. Good to see you again. It's been about six weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, how have things been going? Having a provider take the time to sit down facing her, mm -hmm. asking her specific questions about her mood, anxiety or worry, and sleep. They paint a very clear picture from an emotional standpoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I know that you filled out a Edinburgh test for us. We always advocate for validated screening tool. And the reason is because we can't always see and I have your results right here, and you scored really high on it, very high on it, and we don't typically see that. And so you say that you're doing okay, but can you, are, are you sure you're doing okay? And we know that 15% of women will struggle with perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. Um, so while it's not normal to struggle, it's certainly not a rare occurrence. Well, I just, I feel like I'm not really adjusting to motherhood. Okay. Can you, can you help me understand that a little better? Like, how are you not adjusting? Is it, you're not getting enough sleep? No, I'm not getting enough sleep, but I just, I feel on high alert all the time. And I'm having these episodes where my chest gets really tight and my heart is just racing and I'm having a hard time breathing. It just, it doesn't feel natural and it almost paralyzes me. And 
How long have you been having these for? Since my baby was born. I can tell you're hurting, and this score plus these panicky attacks, they have had me concerned. Providers can communicate to their moms that this is a disease and to speak up if they feel like they're experiencing any of these symptoms. We have this service uh, that we've become a part of. It's called the Periscope Project. I can uh, give them a call with this information and kind of figure out a plan because this is a little out of the realm of my expertise. One of our biggest goals of the Periscope Project was for ease of use. We really structured our program to be very timely and responsive to the needs of our providers. The Periscope Project puts subspecialty psychiatric consultation at your fingertips. Now, postpartum depression, as like I said, it's not typical, but it does happen. It is common. Um, you're not alone. And with this Periscope Project, I can get you the help uh, that you need. They're trying to feel better and pointing them towards treatment quicker she can feel better. So I just need to give them a call really quickly. I'll step out for a few minutes, I'll come right back, and we'll have a plan in place and maybe even a referral, okay? okay. All right, great. Providers can be the difference. We've got great evidence to show that maternal mental health impacts not only mom, but her family and her children. We're asking providers to talk with their moms about this at every visit so that the mom can have the language and the tools and the knowledge to speak up and speak out when she's suffering. Anyone who is interacting with pregnant women and postpartum women um, who may pick up on concerns about emotional health, we're willing to have conversations and, and help these providers help the patients that they're serving. Mm -hmm.